afternoon. My name is Amanda and welcome to The Done Creative. Before we get into this pick a card reading, I just wanted to let you guys know I have a live stream channel and a Patreon with lots of exclusive content over there. And if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, you can always email me at amanda at donephotodesign.com. Links for all of that can be found in the description below. But for this pick a card reading, we're going to be figuring out a message from your spirit guides. So if you're new to pick a card readings, I just ask that you close your eyes, take a couple of deep cleansing breaths to center your energy, and focus in on pile number one with the yellow flower, pile number two with the purple flower, and pile number three with the pink flower. And once you've selected your pile or piles, you can go ahead and check the description box below for the timestamps, and I also pin them as the top comment. But please remember, these are general readings, so only take the information that resonates with you, your life, and your situation, and just go ahead and leave the rest behind. So without delaying this any further, I'm going to give you a moment to meditate on your cards, and I will see you over at your reading. All right, group one are those that selected this yellow flower. This is going to be your message from your guides. And we have here the Snowflake Obsidian card with clearing negativity. And I'm just going to read it because it has some really great information. But working with Snowflake Obsidian, carrying it around, wearing jewelry with Snowflake Obsidian could really benefit you guys and help you clear some negativity. And this is kind of the theme of what they want to help you with or, you know, get the message across to you about clearing negativity. So obsidian releases negativity, and with the added energy of the snowflakes, it represents uh, light overcoming darkness. Snowflake obsidian brings new beginnings, hope after a setback, and a gentle, gradual improvement in whatever area that has caused distress in the past. And then the little affirmation here says, as I focus on the positive, the negative energy gradually dissipates. Yeah, so this is you being able to you know, dissipate your own negative energy, of course, with the help possibly of your guides and different crystals. So let's go ahead and get some tarot in the mix. Specifically, maybe what this negativity or clearing this negativity is referring to in your life, different areas of your life. Okay. Well, there is this, I guess, area of life, probably in a situation, maybe it could be a work or with someone you love or, you know, just having disagreements with someone, feeling like you have to stand your ground or stand up for yourself, speak your truth in some way. And then 10 of pentacles. Yeah, this could have to do with your finances. Finally clearing maybe limiting beliefs surrounding money. But look, the, the wonderful message here is that you are bringing in more abundance as a result of clearing this negativity from your life and being able to find maybe even new ways of income or ways to invest your money, feeling like you don't have to, I guess, prove yourself where your money is concerned or how much money you bring in, being able to overcome. If, if this is like a family squabble or a family fight, family feud of some sort, you're the one coming out on top because I don't think it's about being right for you. It's just about standing up for what you know is right and you're going to be able to do that. Okay. I think I forgot to mention, these are a quickie picky today, so we're just gonna go right in. All right, anything else group one needs to know message from their guides? We have here nature. So getting out in nature would really benefit you guys. Let me see if it was cut off, okay. Just don't want it to be off the table there, okay. So yeah, and the number 74, so that might be relevant to you or the number 74, uh, so that's 11, <laughs> I had to think for a second number 11 so could even be in a relationship or trying to find ways of clearing negativity in a significant relationship with maybe a significant other a partner a close friend a family member but i'm seeing for someone specifically here combining finances or a partner and you coming together and you know maybe moving in together for the first time or opening an account together something like this where you're combining resources but there is this need for you guys to clear any negative mindset or thoughts that you have about this. Not that your thoughts are, aren't valid. This is working through it and not allowing it to completely run the show, if that makes sense. But getting out in nature, tuning into your true nature as well and speaking your truth, I'm really seeing here. I'm um, connecting to your heart chakra as well. All right, let's get a couple of these messages here. More crystal angel messages. So anything else, any messages from group one's guides, please. Ooh, we have the Peridot, so life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns. Ooh, ah, yes, negative patterns. By praying to know the lesson and the blessing they contain. 
So here's the lesson, here's the blessing of you really tuning into these negative patterns, be they thought patterns, patterns with your actions, patterns with your relationships or how you, um, you know, show up in the world. But that could be another crystal peridot that you could bring on deck to heal. And this one, like I was getting heart chakra vibes here, is a heart chakra stone as well. So yeah, you can break free from these recurring negative. And I think for many of you, this has been a recurring cycle because we have 10 here, which is like the end of a cycle. So you're going to be breaking free of the negative cycles, recurring loops of toxicity in your life, in your finances, in your relationships. Not once and for all, I don't think, because, you know, life's the journey and everything, but you're getting a real good handle on clearing a bulk of negativity and things you just feel trapped in. All right, what other messages does group one's guides have? And amethyst, look at that. Revealing your true self, standing up for what you know is right, being your authentic self, all of the things. <laughs> Revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. Yes, and maybe some of you are, you know, apprehensive to really show that significant other or that friend or that family member just who you are deep on the inside because you're afraid that they will walk away from you. But that's not going to be the case. I really don't see that being the case for you guys. All right, what else does group one need to know? Message from their guides. We have here chanting. So this person here is in a meditative position, chanting. This could look like mantras. This could look like singing even. You know, I'm seeing singing here, but just saying om, you know, om, om, you know, that really centers us. And possibly even doing this out in nature could really, really benefit you guys as well. And then we have connect with the earth. Yes. <laughs> what I was literally just saying. Absolutely. So we've got the number eight here. So that is about taking action, about your resources, your finances, your abundance. And then the number 13, which adds up to four. So creating that stable new connection. You're plugging yourself into mother nature because I think many of you, it's like much like your cell phone. You need to plug it in to charge every once in a while. Just let it sit let it relax and it's almost like two like my kids um my youngest specifically he'll play with the ipad and the ipad will be on like one percent and then it'll die and then he'll plug it in and it'll get to maybe two or three percent and he's like well i just want to play it and while he's trying to play it while it's charging it's just not charging as quick as it would if he just walked away let it alone let it rest let it recuperate for just a minute it can recharge that battery and then he can be back on it when you know his time is right I think many of you are trying to, you know, say, oh, I'm resting, but you're also trying to multitask by doing something else. And you really do need to unplug and allow yourself that rest period and out in nature specifically. You got two nature cards here literally telling you, get out there, join us in mother nature. We're waiting for you. So that was your message from your spirit guides. I hope it resonated for you. Please feel free to let me know below any stories you want to share, any comments. I always, always love to hear from you guys. And as always, thanks again so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you, group one, right here back at the Done Creative. All right, bye. All right, group two, or those of you who selected the purple flower, this is going to be your message from your guides. So we have here blue lace agate with communication. So this is kind of the theme card of your reading. It's the only one we've got dealt out thus far. So this is kind of the underlying theme or the major theme, depending of your reading today. So I'm just going to go ahead and read it. So blue lace agate is the crystal for communication and speaking your truth. We got a little bit of that vibe going on in group one as well. But if you have difficulty expressing yourself due to fear of, or self doubt, blue lace agate can be of assistance for public speakers, orators, and teachers. Blue Lace Agate can help you get your work out to the masses and reach a bigger audience. Also for writers I'm picking up. So health-wise, it can be used for the treatment of thyroid conditions, laryngitis, strep throat, sore throat, and speech impediments. And the affirmation here says, I will always have the courage and ability to express my authentic self. So there's something you guys are wanting to express. This could be through a like a creative expression kind of way, a creative endeavor, a creative project. This could be wanting to express or communicate love or just have a better mode of communication with those you love, those deep connections that you have in your life. And I'm hearing almost like over communicating rather than under communicating and really making sure you're on the same page with someone you love specifically. Um, let's see, let's get some more information about this message from group two's guides about this communication anything else they need to know as well 
We have the three of pentacles. Yeah, it's like communicating and, and you know, you listen, I talk, I talk, you listen. Uh, what, did I say that right? Yeah, it's kind of a give and a take. It's working together, finding new ways to communicate. Maybe you're taking some sort of online class or a singing, like a vocal, I don't know, like vocal coaching for someone here as well. Um, but you're just finding a better way to communicate. Maybe you are even just practicing I don't know if you're doing YouTube or something where you're online, online presence, online platform, where you're just trying to solidify kind of your aesthetic, your brand, your vibe, and also, you know, coming together in a community to, you know, connect with like-minded people and communicate something to like-minded people. We also have here the Queen of Wands. So yeah, this is you really owning yourself, whether you're masculine or feminine or anything in between. This to me feels like you are just wanting to feel inspired. You are getting inspired, but this is you to communicate something very creative in a creative way, or you're finding creative ways to communicate what you desire and just what you want to share with the world, your true authentic self and expressing yourself without that fear of, you know, self-doubt or fear that people won't accept you. This is you accepting yourself and just, you know, who else will accept me? I will attract that tribe. And anyone who's just not in line with me or on par with me, you know, my message isn't for them anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And I think you guys are coming to this epiphany very soon, but definitely your guides want you to know all about that. So what else do we have? Any other messages, please, from Group 2 Spirit Guides? Here it is. And we have Adventure. Oh, I shuffled that upside down, I think. <laughs> my apologies. Adventure with the number 55, which, you know, is a number of change. Let me focus up here. This is making those changes, maybe even for some of you to be com better communicators or to open up, to express yourself better, to not be so shy or full of self-doubt. You're just really getting that confidence and that just self-esteem boost that you need to be able to go on the best adventure of your life, which for many of us is just day-to-day -day life. We can create an adventure everywhere we go, but some of you may be making big changes where you're moving, you're changing jobs, you're switching maybe modes of communication, where maybe before you were just texting back and forth with someone, now you're actually calling them and they're calling you and it's a, a deeper kind of communication or uh, I'm seeing someone who maybe is in a long distance relationship. You're going to be able to actually see this person in person very soon so that you guys can communicate face to face rather than over the phone or over FaceTime or whatever. Or just finding better ways to communicate or stepping up to be a better friend or a better daughter or a better son or a better coworker or whatever it is. Um, then we have the Emerald card here. So ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, and anniversaries. Yeah, so maybe some of you are communicating your love or put, sending out an invitation or getting an invitation to go to someone's wedding, a bachelor party, a bridal shower, um, something like this, a baby shower possibly. But there's something to celebrate here for all of you. And then we have an Angel Light. I love this card, it's so cute spiritual or religious community and that's exactly what we were talking about is finding your tribe right um and this is all about it says here join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth and even communication with spirit i'm really seeing this with this very spiritual queen here of the queen of wands and collaboration card this is spirit this is you communicating with spirit and with angel light specifically this is on a spiritual level so spirit angel light and celestite or celestite, I've heard it pronounced both ways, so however you pronounce that. Um, blue lace agate is also a great stone to communicate, I, in my opinion, with the spiritual realm or just to feel more in alignment with your spiritual truth. So all great crystals to be able to connect to spirit or maybe to a crossover loved one you're trying to communicate with um, or just your own higher self or your own guides because your, your guides have a lot of communication. They're sending you a lot of signs, symbols, synchronicities. I think you're getting a lot of the memo, but there's still something you're missing. Um, you might even be getting messages in your dream state. I'm really getting that really strong as well. All right, let's get some additional messages for you. Group two, messages from your guides. And if I forgot to mention, this is a quickie picky today. I don't think I even said that. I did say it in group one, but I don't think I said it in my intro. So my apologies if you're like, wow, she's really going through this. <laughs> yes, it's quicker today. But we have here alone time, which coming out right under the collaboration card, you've got spiritual religious community here. 
there is this need for balance, you know, getting your name out there, getting yourself out there, getting your energy out there, but also retreating and having time alone, um, specifically in nature, because nature is very important for us to feel grounded and connected to ourselves as well. But then we have here clear your energy field. So some of you may be even walking away from an old job, an old group of friends or online community or something that you're just not vibing with anymore, or maybe you're just wanting to take a break to kind of reset yourself before going back, something like this. But there is this need to close out one cycle to be able to begin something new. And I think for many of you, this is you clearing your aura, clearing your energy field, having a little bit of alone time to recharge yourself before you get back out there. Okay, that is the message I'm seeing for you. Please feel free to let me know below what you thought, if it resonated, any stories you want to share. I always, always love to hear from you guys. I just wanted to say thanks again, Group 2, for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you right here back at the Done Creative. All right, bye! All right, for those of you who selected Group 3 or this wonderful pink flower, this is going to be your message from your spirit guides. And we have the citrine card with joy. Citrine, golden citrine. I actually have one here on the table over here off to the side. Um, beautiful, isn't that just beautiful? Can we even see it? Let me, let me get a closer up view so we can see just some beautifully pointed citrine here. Just that kind of amber colored yellow, so pretty. Okay, enough ooing and aahing over the citrine. Let's get to your message. So this is all about joy. Your guides are wanting you to bring more happiness and fulfillment and just joy into your life. So let's go ahead and read. Citrine is the golden color of the sun, reminding us of a bright sunny day. Warm positive energy of this gemstone helps you become more lighthearted and uplifts your attitude and mood. Citrine makes it easier to laugh and smile. Life is good. There is no need to wait for circumstances to change in order to be happy. Be happy now. And then it's got a little affirmation here on the bottom. It says, I embrace joy. I choose to have a sunny disposition and positive outlook regardless of the circumstances. So some of you might have been a little down in the dumps, depressed, just feeling like nothing can go right, just kind of a negative mindset, which, you know, we all get there. It's nothing to beat yourself up about. It's time, your guys are saying, it's time to help lift yourself up and not to say or, you know, not to like spiritually bypass what you're actually feeling. If you are in a dark night of the soul, it's very difficult a lot of times to find joy. But one great way you can find joy even in a deep depression or a dark night of the soul would be to get out in nature, enjoy the little things in life and just reconnect yourself with the soul of who you are, what it is you're here to do. Okay, so let's see. Any words of advice, guidance, messages from Group 3's guides, please, Spirit. Okay, this one and this one. So we have here the Ace of Swords, clear communication. We had communication going on in Group 2 as well. And the Empress, so being able to manifest, to create the life you want. And maybe even clear mode of communication, clear, just creating a new way to communicate that feels much more joyful and peaceful and abundant rather than you feeling like you have to stand up for yourself or prove yourself to people in some way. This is you embracing who you are and clearly communicating. But those of you who have been very confused, maybe even depressed, again, going back to that, I think very soon there's going to be a new opportunity or just this new beginning coming for you guys that, that is clearing the confusion, it's clearing the clutter and giving you a very solid new foundation to, or an opportunity to create this new foundation for yourself. But it's about taking action. The Empress isn't just resting on her laurels. She is literally growing a child in most depictions of the Empress or, you know, manifesting the exact life she wants. Yes, she is the Divine Feminine, more receptive energy. But as she receives that, you know, sperm, she then creates this life. And it's, yeah, it may not look on the like exterior, like much is going on, but every day that baby's growing and the Empress is giving, you know, a lot of her body and her energy toward this manifestation or this new creation she's creating. So some of you might be just needing to amp yourself up for this new creative endeavor, creative project. Maybe you literally are pregnant, having a child or wanting to, getting clear communication from your doctor, you got the green light, or maybe this is a positive pregnancy test, quite possibly. It's just the beginning of the journey though. That positive pregnancy test isn't you giving birth. It's the beginning of the journey. And then from there, 
you just go through the next stage, next stage, next stage, and before you know it, you're holding that baby. Like that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. If it's not a literal baby, this could be a creative endeavor or just something you're trying to manifest. But coming from this place of joy is a much easier manifestation point than, you know, feeling bad or feeling negative about everything that's going on or, oh, this will never happen to me because good things never happen to me. Changing, shifting that mindset can really get you on track to get this going for yourself, this new creative manifestation. All right, what else is going on for group number three? Messages from spirit guides, please. We've got patience. And yeah, just like, like we said here, you know, that positive test does not equal the baby in your arms yet. There's that 10 month. Yeah, I know they're like, oh, you're pregnant nine months, but it's nine full months, literally 10 months you are pregnant, you know, for, it's not every pregnancy that's that way, but you know, for your long-term pregnancy, it's 10 full months of pregnancy. And some people even go over that. That's just impressive to me that they can go that long. But there's patience here. There's this element of patience. And for some of you, this might even have to do with a relationship. Could be a significant other, a friend, family member, that you're just having to be a little more patient with. Maybe they ghosted you or you ghosted them or you're kind of on a break. Um, but this is bringing more joy into your life. Make it, you know, like something you can laugh about, you know, finding something you can laugh about every single day because they say laughter is the best medicine. And wow, think about just being able to have a full on belly laugh and try to remember when was the last time you laughed so hard that you cried, that your stomach muscles were just felt like you had the massivest workout the next day. Think of the last time you laughed like that. But think of when you did laugh like that, like what was it about? Um, how did you feel? Like it just uplifted. It uplifted you so much, but there is a sense of patience to get yourself back to this point for some of you, or if this is a project you're creating, having some patience as you create this project and maybe making yourself, instead of saying, okay, you know, like in my instance, I want to write a book. So instead of saying, okay, my goal is to write a book. Great. Well, what does that look like? What all do I have to do? do is there anything I have to buy? Is there anything I have to research? Like, you know, breaking down, writing a book or, you know, whatever else you're wanting to do, buy a car, whatever it is breaking that down into very, very actionable steps, one by one by one. First, maybe if I'm wanting to buy a car, I need to look at financing if that's a thing, or if I have the money saved up, you know, what kind of car am I wanting? What color, what, you know, gas mileage? Just really doing the research. So there's where the patience comes in, is not just jumping on this first opportunity that comes your way, but knowing that the next opportunity that comes your way, that you can research it, look into it, get clarity on it, if you have any confusion about it, and having the patience, because anything that is meant for you, let's just stress this, anything that is meant for you, nothing could take it away. So if you need a moment of patience to really figure out what you wanna do, do it, do it, do it, do it, okay. Next words of advice for group number three, message from spirit, anything they need to know. Ooh, this one almost flew across the room. Amatrine. So this is citrine and amethyst. And we already have citrine on the board. We got amethyst, I think it was group two. This is about balancing the masculine and the feminine energies. And it says, allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and the masculine side to give you confidence. There's that citrine, there's that confidence, there's that happiness. So this is like masculine and feminine energies here. You know, the epitome of feminine energy, the empress. So allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and the masculine side to give you confidence to take action is really what we're seeing here. And then Emerald, this came out, oh, was this in group two as well? Wow, I think you guys are really tied to group two. Ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, anniversaries. Yeah, for some of you, you are giving birth or getting pregnant, wanting to go down that road. Maybe it's your grandchild if you're, you know, in that age arena or, you know, time of life. This also could be you giving birth to your dreams by graduating college and then starting a business or going and finding a job or, you know, getting married, you know, anniversaries, weddings, birthdays, all the things, anything. <laughs> General reading, so it's going to resonate differently for each of you, but whatever resonates. If there's nothing like that on your radar, this could just be you celebrating yourself, celebrating the little things in life to get you back on track for your dreams. Okay. What else do we have coming in? Messages from Group 3 Spirit Guides, please. Here we go, and here we go. Ooh, it's wanting to hide from me, but we want you. We see you there. We see you. Come out. Okay, we have positive affirmations. Yes, this goes hand in hand with joy. So let me make sure these are straight up here. Okay, so 
the number 41, which adds up to five, which is big changes. Some of you are making changes to the way you speak to yourself inside your head, inside your mind, inside your just subconscious. This says, I love myself, brave, beautiful, worthy, grateful, healthy, happy, just really beautiful keywords here to help expand your consciousness. And then connect with your ancestors. And for some of you, this might be on your mother's line, your mother's side, because we do have that Empress energy. But the fact that we have balancing masculine and feminine, it could also be on the masculine side. But this is about having patience. Some of you might even be searching for like answers about your lineage and maybe frustrated with the amount of information that's out there about a specific family line or family member where the you know the case goes cold i don't know who came before this ancestor or whatever but having a little bit of patience i think you're going to uncover the information you need to put the dots together or to connect everything um, if th those of you that are doing some like ancestry research or wanting to know something about your ancestors but one good way if you can't go like on google or ancestry.com and find that information would be to go within and literally ask your cells, ask your DNA, ask your higher self for help in determining whatever answers it is that you are seeking. But having a more positive mindset. And, oh, and we have here 41 and 14, so inverses of each other. So you might be seeing, I keep seeing the number 43 and 34, which are inverses of each other. And I keep shouting out the number 43 in pretty much every pick a card I've done over the last like three weeks or so. But maybe you guys are seeing the same. You're seeing like 641 on the clock and 614 on the clock or, you know, 841, 814 or something like this. But these numbers are here and it adds up to 55. So big wonderful changes and blessings coming for you group three that is your message from your spirit guide so i hope it resonated please feel free to let me know below any stories you want to share or anything you want to say about your reading here today and as always you guys thanks again so much for all your likes comments share subscribes and all the things and i really truly do hope to see you group three right here back at the den creative all right love you bye